All right, so we're at the shipper. <sighs> this was a tough one to find. It was on a side street. Come in, it's like a one lane entrance, tighter than a drum. You gotta come back, make a few turns. I mean, this place was real hard to find. And then, turns out, it's all the way in the back of the building. There's only two docks. I don't know what the hell these guys are loading, but... <laughs> Apparently, uh, it's a dry load going up to Hershey, PA. Let's see how it goes. I'm the only truck here, so it shouldn't take them too long to load it. According to my computer, we're going to see how accurate these things are. Computer says that they're loading about 40,000 pounds worth of stuff so we will see i'll see you soon Buddy. All right, so new game plan. Um, the last couple of days, I have been getting stuck in some massive traffic. I don't know what the hell is going on with the construction lately, but they bottleneck everything down to one lane, and the backups are five, six miles long. I've gotten into so far six of them. So... For example, like the other day, I ran my clock from start to finish. I, I think I only had maybe 15 minutes left on my clock by the time I finally shut down. And I still only managed to get 400 miles because I am spending so much time stuck in traffic. So what I decided to do is with this particular load here, I've got plenty of time. It's a drop load that's going to Pennsylvania. And my next load at it's already ready to go and that load there is going from Pennsylvania to Massachusetts and I've got more than enough time to do this so I decided to do it um, it's kind of gonna suck as far as the video aspect as far as vlogging this video um, or vlogging this trip but I decided to go to the night shift um, you know there's less traffic so even if I do end up into construction zones, they're not nearly as bad as they are during the day. So I finally had enough of it. Um, and it, it is what it is. I mean, sometimes you gotta make this change if you're able to do so. Um, and it benefits me. I mean, I'll get more miles done faster. So that is the new game plan as far as this goes now i don't know how long i'll be on the night shift i mean i'll i'll see what types of videos i can get this particular route from where i'm at in ashboro uh, north carolina there's two different routes i could take i could take the i-85 north i-85 is going to put me through richmond virginia and washington dc and then up into pennsylvania from there I decided not to do that route. I think what I'm going to do is shoot over to the 81 and go up the 81 only because I don't want to deal with any slowdowns. 
Um, I know the construction in DC is by far uh, horrible. So not only that, there's probably gonna be a lot more traffic there, especially it being a Saturday morning by the time I get up that route. But um, so yeah, we're gonna go up to 81. If there's anything that um, I could pull off of the cameras, I mean, the cameras are gonna be running from when I start the truck. So if there's anything I could pull off of it, I will. If not, then um, I don't know, this video is gonna be all jacked up. I don't know, it is what it is. Part of truck driving, it's part of YouTubing. You know, there's only so much footage you can get at night. But um, I do, <laughs> I do wanna say this. I ended up stopping at, I believe it's a Flying J in Asheville. Let me, you know what, let me get this exact place because this might, somebody's going to ask me about it and they're going to want to know about it and I'm not going to have the details. No. So, it's a TA. <coughs> See, this is why I'm doing this. It's a TA. It's right off of the I-40 and I'm going to give you the exact numbers here TA I-40 exit 138 this place has everything anything you can want you go into the store they have clothes in there you can buy I just bought me a nice new hoodie um I bought a face mask for, you know, winter time's coming. So when it's negative 20 out and I got to get out of the truck and fuel, I got a nice full face mask. Beautiful. Love it. Um, bought a couple of other things. The first time I've ever seen this in a truck stop, they have a tattoo parlor. It's a tattoo and piercing parlor inside the truck stop. Now, my first thought is, where'd you get your tattoo? I had a truck stop. It's almost like getting a jailhouse tattoo. You would think. Now, I'm sitting here watching this guy. Very clean, very thorough. I mean, his shop is spotless. And I was talking to the girl here that works at the TA. And she was telling me that that guy's busier than hell. And I had gotten to think about it, and it's like... I'd do it. If I was sitting here on a 34 hour reset, I think I'd go in there and get some work done. I mean, I got, I mean, you guys have seen, I'm sure in the videos, I mean, I got my half sleeve. I got more work that I want to get done all over the place. I mean, I got a bunch of tattoos, you know, my chest, both my arms. But I mean, I want to get more done on this arm. I need to get some of this touched up. And I got some finished work up here that I want to get done. So, I mean, I think that I probably would end up doing it if I was actually on a 34-hour reset. I don't know. I've just never seen that before. I would have never thought to have had a tattoo parlor inside of a truck stop. Personally, I think it's freaking brilliant. Um, some jackass at the fuel aisle besides the, the high, oh, camper. Besides the you know, he needs to leave his high beams on. So, um, we're going to be leaving here probably about a half hour. Um, chances are I'm probably going to do an 8-2 split. Seeing I didn't get much driving done yesterday, um, I'm able to do an 8-2 split today. I think after my 8-hour break, I'll have enough drive time where I could just start driving get out of here. We're only going... See, didn't even program it into the GPS either. Uh, let's see. Let's see how far we're going. Passing to the highlighted route. 434 miles. Which way is this one taking me? See, this wants me to go up to 85. No, we're going to cancel this. Choose destination, history, compare routes. Actually, this would be a good idea here. So if I take 
the 85. Oh shit, I may take the 85. This is the good thing about, this is the only good thing about this GPS. Um, although ever since I've been talking about throwing her out the window, she did some sort of update and it seems to be working much better. We'll see how long it lasts. But um, here we go. I can take the 85 north, there's no tolls, and it's 434 miles, but it does put me through two major cities, Richmond, Virginia, and DC. Or I could shoot over and then up, go up the 81, and it's nonstop, no major cities or anything like that. And it's 482 miles, so that's a difference of 52 miles. Hmm. Difference of 52 miles, it's a little less than an hour to drive. You know what? Let's gamble this. We're going to go up to 85. We'll go through Richmond and D.C. I think with me starting at 11.30 at night, I should be able to make it through D.C. before morning. We're going to gamble. Let's do it. I'll see you soon.
Well, we dropped that loaded trailer off. And I know I said I was going to record stuff. But after I got done with it all and I started pulling out of the receiver, I'm like, dumbass. Well, so we ended up dropping that. We bobtailed over here to our facility in Mechanicsburg or New Kingston, New Kingstown, however you want to. Yeah, New Kingstown. Um, our trailer that we're waiting on isn't even here yet. And I have a fly that's going to die. Yeah, you. Um, yeah, so the trailer's not even here yet. Uh, I had dispatch ping him. And it turned out he's only an hour away from here. But I'm shutting down now. I'm going to do a 10 hour here. The load doesn't deliver to... Um, where the hell's it going? Somewhere in Massachusetts. But it doesn't deliver till tomorrow night. And I believe it's only like three, 400 miles. So, I might hang out for a little bit. I want to get this truck cleaned up. And if, you know, sweep and polish the floors and the cabinets and stuff. I want to get some stuff done on the truck. And I may, I may order a pizza today. It's been a while since I've ordered a pizza to the truck. The only bad thing is, is I got a long walk to go get it. But I can use the exercise. Especially if I'm going to eat a pizza and wings. Yep. So that's the game plan. Now, um, next week, April's coming out with us. So I don't know what's going to happen as far as... Um, me getting home I am due home in the middle of the week or towards the end of it Wednesday or Thursday um, and then I should be home three days so it's either going to be Thursday, Friday, Saturday come out Sunday or come back out on Monday I guess it depends on when I get home they may very well send me home after I drop this load so I'll take this load up to Massachusetts tomorrow, drop it tomorrow night, and then they may send me home after that. You know, give me a load back home to, to Rochester. So, but anyways, the next time I come back out, after my three days home, she's coming out with me. So she's going to be out for about three weeks. So you guys will get to see more of her. And we have a, a plan in place. We'll see how it works out. But the game plan is, is that she's going to come out with me for three weeks. And then I go home. She's going to stay home. I'll come back out. Just me. And then when I go home again. So every other round, she's going to come out. We'll see how it works out. That ought to be interesting. And that's that, folks. So we're going to cut the video here, and then, uh, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to do one on this next one or not. We'll see. I may. It's a short run. I don't know if anybody wants to see what the hell Massachusetts looks like. All right, guys. I'll see you soon.